starved of domestic football for a couple of weeks. There's an added edge to the welcome Celtic are now receiving today. And given that they slipped up at Petrobri in the last match, this support will make no more allowances for complacency, even though the opposition St. Mirren are still minus an away win. And judging by the Celtic formation, it doesn't look as if they're in a charitable mood either. With DJ Egad making his debut, Chris Sutton and Hen Henrik Larsson all included in the lineup. So there's potential for a veritable avalanche of goals. And back only 10 days after a tour operation, Paul Lambert, who, by the way, scored for the Saints the last time the Buddies won here at Celtic Park in 1990. It really has been hard going for the Saints, especially away from home. And of course, they're not helped by having to play Derek Scrimmager in goal, who's been out for a period. No disrespect to him, but I think it's going to be a very big test for him. And also for Graham Fenton, who saw service under Martin O'Neill at Leicester, who I think has been rather naively less than complimentary about his former manager, who I think has retorted in the best possible way by telling him to do his talking on the park. And the referee today is George Clyde. And all around the country yesterday, a minute's silence in memory of Scotland's First Minister, Donald Dewar, who sadly died last week. Well, given the statistics, I suppose the phrase foregone conclusion is easily to be uh, right on the tip of the tongue. But anything can happen in football, at least that's exactly what Saints have to try and think about under severe pressure, as I assume they're going to be in this game. Well, they may, Celtic, they may say Celtic have edged off in the last couple of games, but they have the talent, of course, to fight back immediately. And that's a very nervy clearance by Scrimmager. Here's Agat playing on that right-hand side. That's a decent ball in there. And not surprisingly, right at the end of it, Henrik Larsson showing his appreciation for the way that Agat picked it up and then swept it across. Just a slight mistiming at the end there when he got underneath rather than over the ball. Try to wait for somebody to come inside of him. Murray does. Neat little piece of play by Murray. Good football by Sakes. Picked up here by Walker. Nicholson coming in again. Well, that was good play by Sidmer, and that's the first time we've seen them taking any initiative from their own half towards a Celtic penalty, and it almost paid off. Here's Larson now. through to Maravchik. He should put it away just over. Wonderful ball played through to him. And you could tell right away, he really does make defenders look ridiculous at times, the way he can turn so quickly. Well, you would have sworn he would have put that away. Petrov. Beautiful run by Thompson. There's the left foot in action this time. Well, he did very well to take it away to that right-hand side. Good possession, good control. Samirin fighting very hard for the ball at the moment, and Tommy Boyd there again. Tremendous positional sense this man has. That was a vital interception for Celtic. Bravchik, a little bit of space around him. Wants it with a left foot, that's a very good save. And Larson slips. Well, I don't know what it is about the suffers at Celtic Park today, but several of the players have been finding it very hard to keep the feet at crucial moments, and this was certainly one of them. Good defensive work by Agat. The first time we've seen him in the ball. Roar of encouragement from the crowd as he's going in here. Tries a shot. Sutton tries to go for it. 
really have organized themselves very well in defense at Burn. Tom Boyd is there for Celtic. Not the best ball he's put forward. Picked up again by Gillis. Little ball played inside. That's not a bad ball. Just a little bit too hard. Turner went straight after it. You could see that pass coming from about uh, 30 yards away. Amazing run forward. Really deceived everybody. He got his freedom. Followed on after the ball, but it just passed across him. Hey, got Using his pace to great effect. Just touch away, brilliant run by Egan as Larson came in for the kill. Just touched away, and Celtic getting great benefit from the man who's playing wide right now. Twice in the game, he's had great runs to put it in. Here's Lambert. turn of pace and away off the line Thompson was in there and Sutton it was on the left hand side Sutton was lying just inside there as that was taken by Moravchik but that's almost suicide by Turner and that just passed by Sutton. Well, the first real mistake that Turner has made in this game, he's been quite commendable in the way he's defended, but he gave the ball away far too easily. And you can see Sutton did have the opportunity to curl that round. So many Celtic attacks have just petered out right of it here, but Thompson is in on it. Goalkeeper well out now, now Moravchik. There's a little touch across, and Scrimmager getting his fingertip to it. And the pressure mounts and mounts against the St. Mullen defence. Thompson hovering on the edge of the ball. Selection! Sutton gets his head to it. Well, that was coming. The pressure mounting. defense no end of trouble and with the best uh, of efforts of Turner it couldn't be kept out Sutton rising up uh, brilliantly there all it required was a touch Yobi can't get to it fell to the wrong person I suspect once again, Agat carving them up at the back as the halftime whistle goes, and Agat's contribution has been enormous to Celtic this afternoon. But that's the man who scored the goal. Celtic really ought to be well up, much more than one goal in front with the halftime score. Celtic won, submitted nil. Wow, the news from Easter Road has quickly swept round the stadium at halftime, and it's hardly caused a cloud of gloom to descend on the place. The very opposite quite galvanized by that but regardless of what happens in other places Celtic must reflect on the first half in which they could have scored more and against a team which has come out uh, when they've had the ball and tried to play intelligently against them that's made for a very interesting first half Larson Lovely little touch on by Larson, he'll get the ball back again, beautiful play, and oh, he can't put it away. While he's going through one of these paces, Larson, despite the great prolific goal-scoring touches he's had, I've now seen him playing in three games when balls just haven't broken to him kindly enough, and when he hasn't been sharp enough in the finish in the box, but he'll come through that period, and he's annoyed with himself for that.
That's a very good-looking ball as Nicholson comes up. Maravchik is tracking him. He did a Maravchik on him, in fact, and that's not a bad effort. I think that almost deceived Golden Goal. I think he was expecting a ball played to the far post. As I said, that was a, almost a Maravchik touch there as he touched the ball round Luba and then went for goal himself. I would say he's the best player so far. McGarry made the run, intelligent play again. Kept the ball well. And that's not a bad effort. One of the best moves of the game, sent in there by Nicholson. And Gillis tried to pick that up and put it away. Well, the back of Tom Henry, I'm sure he doesn't like Celtic being in the lead by one goal to nil, but I think his team has played exceptionally well today, especially in this opening period in the second half, playing possession football when they possibly can. Here's Voltaccia. Will be with Renfrum. Overpowers them again, though. Here's Nicholson. Good uh, face as for St. Mirren. Ooh, that was an attempted back heel by Renfrum. As Nicholson made the run in the left. Now, Tommy Boy setting the example, and that's too hard. Marvellous run by Boyd from the centre of defence after St. Mirren had hemmed in Celtic for the first time in the second half. McGarry, Boyd read that beautifully. He got. The long ball just touched away. He went out to the ball now. Lambert. He wanted a 1 2, didn't quite come off. Tommy Boyd. Celtic trying to turn the tide slightly here. There's a beautiful ball inside, and it just passed again. Well, when that was uh, touched inside, Thompson had made the run, intelligent run, and then pushing it away towards the far left-hand post. He's done that several times in the game, getting opportunities, and it's finished on that side of the left-hand goal post. Larson, Egan comes in, but he put it away, he's missed it. Once again, open up there by Larson, he did everything right, and the crowd were willing up to put this in the back of the net. Yeah, once again, a rueful shake of the head. I think he played that just slightly too wide for him, and that was the back support that it hit. Yeah, three kick. A little bit of uh, anger there, erupting between the two of them. Uh, she has a shoving and a pushing and a jostling. One of these little eruptions that happen in the game, even though it's been generally a very composed match. Well, they should have taken all the chances in the first half, and they would not now be slightly laboring. Not much more than that, but making it more difficult for themselves than it ought to have been. St. Mullen really haven't troubled Jonathan Gould, but they've kept good possession in midfield. Way by Volkeren. Neat play by Volkeren now. Egat. Petrov. This time St. Mullen are spread out. Thompson cutting in, will he do it this time? No! Very good save this time. And for about the fourth time in the game, Thompson has cut it. Down that left-hand side. This time trying to finish it with his right foot. Defied by Scrimger. I think he tried to shape it and curl it just a little bit. And it didn't quite come off.
Decent ball to Agat. Well, Thatcher, can he defend it? Agat brushing him away again. Frenchman holding on to the ball intelligently. That won't come off. Poor pass that time by Lambert. Waiting for players to come forward, and that was struck too soon. There was nobody in uh, the Celtic half to any note, and I think he realizes it too. He didn't like that. A free kick. Very quickly taken. That's intelligent play. Now Thompson can he let rattle this one. Good defending by St. Mirren, and especially Barry McLaughlin getting right in the way. Swung out wide there, and touched away by Tatcha. Right on the edge of the box, a free kick. Very clumsy effort at that. Now this could be useful for Celtic. Larson with serious intent. Ryan puts it in, it's there! said they had to relieve the tension and they've done it brilliantly well a whole cluster of players in front of them you could tell by the mood as he shaped up to this that he wanted this himself and look at the way he rifles it through well, it's going to be a free kick there will be time for this Larson to take the free kick again. Well, if he put this one in, it would be something for the book. This is a much more difficult one. Outside of foot, this time, and over by Healy. Well, once again, the youngster did very well to get himself into the box. The right place, at the right time, but the wrong judgment. And there goes the final whistle. Well, the two main goal scorers did it for Celtic once again. First of all, that header by Chris Sutton. A very, very good header indeed under the circumstances. Just the, the merest of touches and he knew what he was doing. And then at the end, as Celtic began to get slightly impatient, only one goal in it. A very deliberate aim at goal by Henrik Larsson. And that's class. And I think St Mirren do take some credit out of this game. Final score, Celtic 2. St Mirren nil. Delighted, absolutely delighted. We've um, we got the goal just before half time, but I thought our play merited. It was always going to be hard, and uh, the second b before we got the second goal, I was I think there was a bit of uneasiness, you know, creeping through. Not so much on the field of play because the lads were creating chances, but perhaps in the surrounds, you know, the crowd getting a wee bit edgy. Um, and we, but ha having said that, we had some fantastic chances to, to score more goals. Well, we could have come here and struck five men at the back and four in midfield and just sat back and let Celtic attack us, but we felt we had a chance if we went to go to take the game to Celtic. We did that today, we didn't win, but we didn't disgrace ourselves. How pleased were you with the debut of Didier Agat? Well, I, I couldn't be more pleased, to be perfectly honest. Um, I think, I, I mentioned to him in the dressing room, that it's probably the best debut I've ever seen. It really is, I mean, that's very, very big praise because I've been in the game a long time.